Hello guys, I am Engineer Muhammad Adnan Khan and you are watching my YouTube channel Civology. In this video lecture, we will discuss what is concealed beam, what are the different names of concealed beam. Concealed beam can also be known as uh, known by different names which we will discuss in the upcoming slides. We will also discuss the use of concealed beam and what is uh, how concealed beam can be designed uh, and what is the purpose of concealed beam and where it is provided and we will also discuss the advantages and disadvantages of concealed beam. So to know the detail about concealed beam, you are requested to please watch the complete video and if you are new to my channel, you are requested to please subscribe it and press the bell icon to get more video updates. So let's start our today's topic that is concealed beam. As I told you before, there are different names of concealed beam. First of all, what is concealed beam? A reinforced cement concrete beam provided within the slab. Now, now this is important that what makes it uh, different from ordinary beam uh, that is it is provided within the slab and whose depth is equal to the depth of the slab. It means it is concealed or hidden inside the slab and one cannot uh, see or one cannot have an idea where the beam lies where the concealed beam lies as you can see over here this is the as you this is the concealed beam and its depth is equal to the depth of the slab and concealed beam is also known as hidden beam as as i told you that one cannot have any idea where the concealed beam lies once the concrete uh, once the slab is poured the other one is flat beam it is also called as flat beam and slab beam as uh, as we know that it is uh, it lies within the slab so it is called as slab beam so these are the different names uh, which we which we will hear in the upcoming slides about concealed beam hidden beam flat beam slab beam. these are all the same things okay now what are the uses of concealed beam concealed beams are usually provided in suspended slab where thickness of slab is considerable now usually these uh, concealed beams are provided on the larger spans or on the suspended slabs where there is um, a parapet wall or stone mystery is desirable uh, over the slab. Concealed beam is provided between the large spans like in dining halls, masks, recreation centers like cinemas or theaters at right angle to each other to provide neat and leveled ceiling to give pleasing look and for aesthetical purposes. As you can see over here, uh, this might be the uh, slab of a, a mask or recreation center or a uh, dining hall. So all our, uh, as you can see over here, uh, all the beams are provided are concealed. Th there should be drop beams. Now what is drop beam and uh, what is flat beam or slab beam? There is a uh, difference. Uh, because the uh, as you can see over here to provide the clear and level ceiling from beneath of the beneath the slab we provide concealed beams to give a pleasing look and that is for aesthetical purposes now how to design concealed beam concealed beam is designed same as that of ordinary beam but few points should be considered while designing okay first one is its depth is restricted and should not be greater than the slab thickness. Okay. Second point is reinforcement ratio might be changed to overcome the restriction. Now its depth is restriction. That's why it is called concealed beam or slab beam or flat beam. That its depth is restricted to the height of the slab. That it cannot be greater than the uh, depth of the slab. As you can see over here, this is the depth of the slab and the flat beam lies within the slab. That's why it is called hidden beam or concealed beam. Now, this is the typical cross section of the concealed beam that uh, as you can see over here, this is the uh, stirrup uh, ring is provided and extra reinforcement is provided within the uh, within the uh, stirrups or within the beam to give it the uh, look of a beam so this is called this is the typical cross section so the two points that is its height is restricted the second one is reinforcement ratio is increased to um, to con to give it the look of a beam or to get uh, to give it the so that it can perform the function of a beam within the slab the third point is width of beam is increased to overcome the depth restriction to certain degrees and as i told you before uh, depth is restricted we cannot increase the depth uh, from the 
uh, depth of the slab as it lies within the slab as you can see over here the width of the beam has increased to a certain degree uh, to overcome the restriction of a depth these were the few points which should be considered during the designing of the concealed beam now what is the purpose of concealed beam first one is it is used to help disperse loads imposed on the slave for example weight of brick masonry wall as i uh, mentioned before that it is provided on the suspended provided uh, that the concealed beam is provided within the uh, slab uh, on the suspended uh, suspended slab so that it can carry the load of the brick masonry or uh, stone masonry or block masonry over it the second point is it allows using greater span for the slab hidden beams are provided exclusively for architectural aesthetic purposes in buildings interior as it provides clear span to break a wide panel of a slab into a considerable size as you can see over here that this portion let me uh, highlight it for you if you look at this place this is the this might be the dining hall or if it's the, if it is the uh, office building it should be a conference room now to provide the clear span below the span our concealed beams are provided over it so that the uh, panel size uh, broken into uh, considerable size and the, the lower side should be clear and leveled to improve architectural aesthetic appearance by providing neat and level ceiling surface to achieve maximum floor height to clear the way for electromechanical duct work it saves floor height clearance now let me uh, show you the uh, difference between the flat slab and uh, the drop drop beam and concealed beam or flat beam uh, as i told you before that this beam is dropped and it it is visible from the downside of the slab where it whereas the flat beam cannot be seen from downside and one cannot have any idea that where the concealed beam lies thus it performs the function of the beam and provide the clear floor height okay now these are for the aesthetical purposes for architectural purposes this is the common difference as you if you see the cross section of the drop beam that it is uh, dropped uh, from the slab and shows uh, when visible from the from beneath of beneath the slab this is uh, uh, inverted inverted beam and this is flat beam or concealed beam as you can see over here now what are the advantages of concealed beam hidden beams save cost of form work because it lies within the slab and it does not require any extra form work labor and materials it creates uh, an acceptable aesthetic appearance which permits for efficient interior space partitioning it must have some disadvantages the first one is the disadvantages of the hidden beam is that it is considerably low ductility because of the high reinforcement ratio as in the designing of the beam i uh, told you that we we have to increase the reinforcement ratio to overcome the uh, depth restriction so the in increasing the reinforcement which it makes the beam brittle and less tactile that is provided to compensate for depth restriction especially at column connections and structurally it creates a spanning problem as spans for structural supports are in right angle to each other this mean one slab structurally rest over the other i hope you understand the topic that's all for today in the end you are again requested if you are new to my channel please subscribe it and press the bell icon to get more video updates